Hey guys, we are going to learn another interesting topic. How to print sheet names that are present in an Excel file. Before we get started, ensure you have installed the Pandas library. This is one and the other one is OpenPy Excel. These are the two different libraries that we need. Ensure you have already installed using the command prompt. So let's begin. The very first thing that I am going to do, I am going to import pandas and I am going to provide some alias name as pd. After that, I am going to import few things from OpenPyXL. So I am saying from. So what is OpenPyXL? This is a module or a library which allows you to deal with Excel. You know, you want to read data from Excel, you want to write data to Excel, you want to understand how many sheets are present in the Excel. All of this Excel functions, right, using this module, we can achieve. So that's why I'm writing from OpenPy Excel because it's a very big module. I don't want to use everything. Rather, to keep the program quite light, I'll be importing only few functionality from the OpenPy Excel. So what is that you need? Just hit on Control and Space. You will get this load workbook. Now, it is very important for us to understand what is this load workbook? So remember, OpenPy Excel is a library or a module. Inside that, there is a function called load workbook. So what is the use of load workbook? Let me first explain. So load workbook is a function available inside OpenPy Excel. So that's why we are writing from OpenPy Excel, import load workbook. So I'm saying from. So this is the source. From that, you only load this specific function. So when I say function, what do I mean by that? That means this load workbook will help you to load the Excel file in a temporary memory, you know, temporary memory using which I can read, I can write the Excel into the Excel file, I can modify a few values inside the Excel file. And then it is going to save it. Getting it? So load workbook will help you to, the save is a different part. But again, what I'm saying is load the Excel file in memory. Okay. It is going to load that Excel file in memory. Now, with this example, you will understand the entire meaning of load workbook. Now for this, let me first show you the Excel file that I have on my system. Okay. So this is the Excel file, automate with Rakesh. Now, this has got two different sheets, sheet one, and there is also sheet named automate with Rakesh. There are two different sheets. Now, my aim here is to understand in a given Excel file, how many sheets are there? How do I read it? That is my main aim. For that, I am going to create a simple variable. This is a variable I am going to create called file path. Equals to, I am going to provide the path of that Excel file. So, I am going to hit on shift key, right click on the file. And I'm going to click on copy as path. I got the path. All I'm going to do is paste. Now, in the previous video, I've explained uh, this is going to give an error anywhere you find a forward slash because the forward slash is an escape character used for slash n for new line, slash t for tab, right? So that's why to avoid and make it a regular string, I am using r. R is a keyword. So that way it won't give any kind of error. Getting it? All right. Now, after this, after you have written this, I'm going to create a variable called a equals to and I'm going to say load workbook. So it is going to load this file path which contains the exact location from your drive, from your hard drive is going to load it to the memory and the a variable is going to contain it. Getting it? So it is just doing a loading into the memory. That's all. So that you can do certain functions of reading, writing, modif modifying the cell values and all that you can do. That's why we are loading it. Now, once this understanding is clear, here my aim is to print. What I want to print? The sheet names. So because it has been loaded to the variable A, if I put A dot, then I should be able to find something called sheet names. If you type sheet, you will find there is something called sheet names. So now using the sheet name method, I'll be able to print how many sheets are present in that specific Excel file. So let me execute this. 
Now, if I execute, it tells me, hey, your Excel file contains two different sheets, which is nothing but sheet one and this one, automate with Rakia. There are two different sheets. Similar way, you can pass any other Excel file wherever it is located. Following this practice, you will be able to read the sheet names present in the Excel file. Now, for sure, there are a lot many interesting things are coming. So, please stay tuned and please do subscribe to the channel and do give it a like to the contents that you are watching on my channel. Thank you guys. Let's meet once again in our next content.